I'm Ryan Sipos. I'm Emily Mervica. I'm Nathan Isham. And this is Lab 8 Interference Division of Amplitude with the Michelson Interferometer. Here's our mercury source, our white light source, mirror 1, mirror 2, beam splitter, and compensating plate. So in part A, we created Haydinger's fringes, or fringes of equal inclination, which are created by two mirrors that become point sources that interfere with one another. But the fringes are actually circular because the mirrors are parallel to each other. So fringes of the same order come to focus at the same point, which creates rings around the optical axis. So the center of these rings is the maximum optical path difference. So as the fringes collapse inward, the OPD decreases, but as the fringes expand outward, the OPD increases. This is a picture of the Haydinger fringes we created in part A. For part B of the lab, we created straight line fringes. These fringes are also known as fringes of equal thickness. This is because each fringe accounts for the same difference in height on the material. When you change the micrometer, you created OPD in the mirrors. So instead of having mirrors at the same point on the axis, you now had o OPD in these mirrors. This caused a shift in the image, which would create a non where you'd be looking at a image of the non-central sphere, circular fringes. This is a picture of the straight line fringes we created in part B of the lab. This is a drawing of the pattern of white light fringes that we found from this part of the lab. As you can see in the center, when the optical path difference is equal to zero, there's a single bright white fringe. According to this equation, the fringe spacing is proportional to the difference in the wave vector, meaning that the fringe spacing has dispersion and that it's frequency dependent. As you start to move in one direction or the other and the optical path difference increases, you begin to get dispersion and the different colors start to separate from one another, which gives us a rainbow of color. Once you get far enough from the, white, from the central white fringe, the color peaks start to become indistinguishable, and they start to blend together, which gives us white light on far, far from the center at both sides. This is, the, this is a picture of the white light fringes that we found in this lab.